and welcome to my channel, The Parrot Guru, giving you advice on all topics of parrot care and first aid. My name is Lisa Morrison and today I'll be giving you tips on how to catch your birds quickly, safely and as stress-free as possible. So continue watching. in your parrot's life when it has to be caught for some reason or another whether it has to be medicated or whether it has to be taken to the veterinarian and you may feel a little bit anxious about catching your bird in case you hurt them in some way or cause them any type of stress you may be new to parrot keeping you may have an anxious bird or your bird may just be an untamed bird and does not want to be caught so don't worry we have all been there we have all felt the stress and pressure of trying to catch our birds and handle them as safely as possible. So I will be teaching you how to do that today, but first I wanna cover one or two things which you should never do when you catch your bird. One thing you should never do when trying to catch your bird is chase your bird around the room until you are both completely exhausted. This kind of stress can cause your bird to actually have a heart attack. And of course your bird trying to get away from you can fly into windows and walls and can injure itself extremely badly in the process. So this is something that you should never do. The second thing you should never do is once you have caught your bird, is apply any type of pressure to your bird's chest. Any kind of pressure to a bird's chest will stop the bird from breathing. Now, some tips on how to catch your bird safely. Whether your bird is out its cage or inside its cage, the quickest and most effective way of catching a bird is to turn off the light. Yes, to turn off the light and make the room as dark as you possibly can. The darkness will temporarily stun the bird and the bird will end up standing like a statue for a few seconds, giving you a fantastic window of opportunity to quickly grab and catch your bird in that nice soft towel. Now you have your bird in a towel and then you can safely now put your bird into its carrier and your bird is now ready to go off to the veterinarian or of course to be medicated or whatever reason you had to catch your bird. Now what towel to use? Many people have asked me what size towel do I have? A bird the size of a budgie, um, a small face towel or a paper towel would be a pretty good size. For a medium sized bird such as a cockatiel or a love bird a hand towel would be fine and for a bird the size of a macaw or of an African grey um, probably a medium sized bath towel would suffice to avoid a bite. Well I hope you have enjoyed these tips on how to catch your bird quickly and safely. Next week I'll be doing a video of how to take your bird to the veterinarian or travel with your bird safely. So join me next week. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you want more videos like this don't forget to do a thumbs up and subscribe and click that little bell so that you can get notifications every time I put up new videos. Thank you for watching. Stay safe out there guys and God bless.